And the, this is the uh, Compaq's first uh, portable, is that correct? Uh, no, this is our uh, first laptop. First laptop, uh, okay. Or battery what? operated, really. <laughs> or battery operated. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> get all the adjectives in there. Oh, <laughs> <you> got <laughs> it, okay. <laughs> battery operated laptop. Why did Compaq wait this long to get into this particular segment of the market? Well, uh, the technology, in our opinion, was not ready for us to be able to provide a full function laptop computer. And in particular what? What kind of technology? Primarily the screen. Uh -huh. uh, we uh, uh, did a lot of uh, testing with uh, the market to find out what was uh, an acceptable level and the VGA monitor was really what was seen as an acceptable mm -hmm. level screen. Can you tell us a little bit about this machine? You bet. Uh, as I mentioned, it does have a, a VGA monitor. Uh, it's a 10-inch diagonal screen. And in addition to the, uh, uh, the VGA capability of the, the screen, it also will accept the EGA or CGA uh, written software. And it uh, also, do you have a connection on the back then that would go to a normal uh, VGA monitor? Uh, yes, indeed. In fact, mm -hmm. you can plug in either a CGA, EGA, or a VGA mm -hmm. color monitor okay. as well. Uh, the keyboard also uh, is uh, easily removed from the top of the unit. And uh, we find that, especially on an airplane, uh, when you try to put a laptop on the tray, that sometimes it's nice to be able to take the keyboard off and put it in your lap uh, mm -hmm. to use that. What else is in here, Mac? Well, the, uh, it, the battery fits right in the front of the unit. Uh, I brought an extra battery along with, you so that, along with me so you could see that. And uh, it uses a 3.5 inch, uh, 1.4 megabyte uh, floppy drive. And it comes with either a 20 or a 40 megabyte mm -hmm. hard drive uses the 80 C286 microprocessor that runs at 12 megahertz, right. so it's a very, very high performance uh, system. Okay, so what kind of uh, time do you get on, the nor let's say, normal usage? In the uh, well, it's a minimum batteries. of three hours in the battery. Okay. Uh, normal usage depends on whether or not you're using a graphics-intensive uh, software package or whether it's uh, text. And you can carry on an extra battery pack. Carry an extra just battery pack slip in there. and uh, just slip it in. Okay, what's in the back of the machine, Mac? What, uh, how can we get in and out of this thing? Okay, glad you asked. <laughs> on the back of the unit, uh, there is a uh, uh, port for a uh, parallel for a printer, a uh, serial port, uh, an, a port to plug into the VGA, as we talked about before, for an external monitor. Mm -hmm. Uh, and uh, in addition to that, it has the ability to plug in the full-size 101 keyboard mm -hmm. so that um, if you uh, wanted to use a uh, full-size keyboard, you could. I've got a couple of uh, interesting connectors over here look like Telco. Uh, so does it have a built-in modem then? Is uh, that that's correct. It? it does have a built-in modem that plugs in on the side. And in addition to that, it has an AC adapter port on this side of it. Okay. What's the big fat one on the right there? Well, this is the what we think is one of the most important features of the unit. This, this plugs into the docking port. So you can actually take mm -hmm. your laptop, plug it into a docking port, and then use it as an office computer in your office. The docking port then has a recharger built into uh -huh. it, so it recharges the battery, and slots? also has two slots uh -huh. in it so that you can use two additional uh, slots for any other and is this, for, is this removable use. then so you can then use well this can be closed down oh, I see. and then of course down. you would use your color mm -hmm. monitor along yeah. with your 101 keyboard when in the office you can upload the software you've been working on or the programs you've been working on and then download it when you want to take it home at night. Just a few seconds left. Give me prices on these two machines, Mac. Uh, with a 20 megabyte hard file it's 53.99 and with the 40 megabyte it's 59.99. And the ultralight.